Hi guys, it's Garrett here from True Spiritual Awakening. This is just a follow-up video on my last video I done about uh, God realization and pure divinity. And as there has been some other stuff that's been unfolding since that last video I made about a week and a half ago, I said I would just jump on and um, kind of keep it going, keep um keep journaling what's happening during this uh this stage of of awakening enlightenment um so basically the the, the shift this uh merger with the supreme uh happened about uh two weeks ago and there's been this constant flow this god force or um uh, this kind of liquidy, crystalline energy that's been flowing down through the consciousness is there all the time. Uh, now, obviously, it it kind of goes down when I'm I'm uh, interacting with people or out doing um, errands and stuff like that. It's uh, but as soon as I go to meditate with the group or do a one to one session, this this force is just coming in. Um, so I did my uh, YouTube live meditation yesterday uh, on Monday, um, and that's that session. There was um, this pure divinity just started coming in really, really strong for the the entire session, and um, towards I'd say mid part of the meditation, I. I started to have kind of some small little visions started to, to happen and uh, one of the visions was this uh, this light traveling up through my through my spine and uh, it got to the top and the top of my crown started to, to flower open the, almost like the, the, the lotus and it, it opened up fully all the way around and all of a sudden my consciousness shot up through the, the, the top of this, the, the, the lotus flower, and went up, 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 and all of a sudden I was floating, floating in this uh, really strange purple, this, this purple sort of a reality, and um, almost like um, a velvety uh, purple, this kind of real rich, and I noticed that there was symbols all these symbols going around in a, in a kind of a, a 360 degree all the way around me and the symbols although i couldn't really focus on all of them i was kind of had a quick kind of just just glanced at some of them and one of them was actually the i think it's the sagittarius um symbol it was all half half horse half man and um i noticed that one and there's some other little kind of stars and 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 other ones and all of a sudden I was uh, this voice came and it said now take these gifts and bring them back down into creation and then all of a sudden I, I started to descend back down into my body came back down into the body and all of a sudden I'm, I'm back and I'm back in the body and I'm feeling this this beautiful bliss and this flow just flowing down to the top of my head and then all of a sudden I notice this white star moving around. And all of a sudden this white star is is uh, placed into my third eye like this. And then I hear uh, birthday celebrations. And um, which is really strange. So, so this white star was put into my third eye and I hear uh, uh, birthday celebrations. And... After the meditation, somebody put something up about um, Krishna. Some some day, yeah, uh, Monday had been some special day for Krishna, and I quickly googled it, and it was the birthday of Krishna, his uh, his birthday. So somehow this this um, this white star that had been put into my third eye. Uh, had something to do with uh, the birthday of Krishna, and there was definitely some sort of a gift. And the um, so so this shift that that I've been going through this this um, 
this God realization, this pure divinity. Uh, it's also some people refer to it as para Brahman. And uh, one of the um, one of the things with para Brahman is that um, there's a descent back down into creation. Um, uh, there's a merger with the divine and the 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 divine then uses the the channel as um uh, some sort of a, a dynamic um force in the world so now all of a sudden um the the body is now a channel for them divine forces to manifest in creation and that's obviously what i had seen with all the symbols uh, and then i was descended back down into creation now after the meditation um there was some more stuff that came on bliss became very very strong it's been really strong um since the whole merger process um it's almost painful it's it's in the brain it's almost so much that it's it's quite sore it's quite painful um last two days it's been quite hard to function with it although i feel a little bit more grounded now um so last night then i came up to go to bed um and i sat upright in bed and closed my eyes and then all of a sudden uh, I see, started to see an awful lot of visions. Uh, the lights became really bright uh, it, internally. So it's almost like there's um, uh, somebody turns almost up the dimmer switch. It's up and up. And it's, it's almost like you can't sleep because everything is bright. Consciousness is wide awake, even though the body had fallen asleep in the upright position. It felt like I had been awake the entire time until I looked at my phone. And when I did come around, two hours had passed. But there was also this other sensation of this churning going on. And I got these, this kind of, the almost like two, two drums that were twisting, almost like a, you know, if you ever see a slush puppy machine where it keeps churning and churning like this. And there was two of them. And they were going in the opposite directions. And it almost felt like they were churning my entire system. And it was quite uncomfortable. And it felt like I was dying and being born over and over and over again. And this is this is the way it felt. It was almost like the sense of dying and being re reborn. Uh, and this churning just constantly going around and around. And if it almost felt like I was getting woozy, uh, it was becoming uh, quite overpowering, uh, uncomfortable. Um, so I eventually um, lay down and tried to sleep, but again, I was having lots of visions, uh, over overpowering kind of energy, overwhelming energy, uh, just kind of. I, I don't really know what the word is, but it was just there, not really doing anything, but it was just kind of like the whole body was just kind of like buzzing, but, you know, just it was quite uncomfortable and it wouldn't let me sleep. So um, today I woke up and there was a lot of tiredness in the body. I guess I guess what's happening is there's... Um, there's an integration going on or there's some sort of a purge taking place um very tired very uh there's a sense of like not wanting to speak to people um just wanting to be alone uh, just kind of again it, it it has this this quality of of churning and being uncomfortable but at the same time there's a bliss going on in the brain and if i just kind of concentrate on the bliss it gets quite powerful so that's that's just my follow-up um to the to the last just to i'm going to keep if anything else i'm going to do them in a series all under the one 
um, video and if you've not watched that video um, I'll put a link down below and if you want to meditate with last night's uh, YouTube live meditation I'll put a link in that one as well because it was quite uh, quite a powerful meditation um, and I know some people in the group afterwards had, had said it was quite powerful even uh, the recording the next day so I shall leave it at that thank you very much for for watching and uh, I shall see you in my next video. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.